Hi guys, I wanted to show you another helpful fifth grade tool or resource for you when you get into fifth grade. Um, I've sent you an email invite. You can find it in your inbox of your Gmail uh, under Khan Academy. You're going to click on there. Click join Miss Cortez's class. I hope it doesn't go to my teacher one. Okay, good. So, now that you're in here, it says join your class on Khan Academy. And you might already have an account, but just go ahead and click on there. Um, now it says um, join your class, so you're going to create a new account, or if you already have an account, just link it that way. Uh, go in here, choose a birthday. I'm going to just, yeah, they, they only do this to see what age you are, so really you could just put, you know, any month and date, but make sure you put the correct year so that they can track it for they, you know, they just want to know who's, what age levels are using this. What year were you guys born? About 2009. Okay, so you can connect it right with your Gmail for your school account, um, or you can just go in here, sign up by using a username. Um, for safety, don't use your real name, but I do want you to put your number. So, like, if you know, in class, if you were number 23, uh, Dakota, <laughs> if you're whatever then I want you just to choose that number and then whatever tag you want to use with it, okay? So like if it's, you know, I don't know, sparkling butterflies, 23, or you know, whatever, just as long as you have your number in there too. So I'm under my daughter, so I'm just going to put like, I don't know, um, I don't know, what is she like? <laughs> light blue that's her favorite color so light blue and we'll just say that she's number 25 light blue 25 okay create a password whatever it is make sure it's something that you're gonna remember if you're not gonna link it to your Google account you need to remember this password so don't make it hard make it something very easy okay uh, very very easy because I cannot help you with that password so I'd rather you just um, Log in with your Gmail account, but okay, it's logging us in. No, well, you guys can hit save. I'm not gonna have it on here because onward. Okay, light blue, there she is. Now I know that she's under our class, and here we have like some specific things that you can um, practice. The reason I'm having you guys sign up for this is um, is just so that you guys can have like look my teachers and tutors it's personalized help videos practice and so it's just another um, resource now you can keep the same account and then next year when you have a different teacher you can just you know remove me and then you'll have your new teacher on there, okay? I don't know if the fifth grade teachers use this. I know that sixth grade does, so it is really good training for you guys, okay? Um, once you get in there, let me show you what it looks like. Before I jump into Khan Academy, I just want to show you what you can also do um, next year or whatever. So you could just look up Khan Academy Engage New York. That's the um, name of the program that um, I know Miss McLaughlin uses and Miss Robinson does too from time to time for fifth grade. And they go by what's called modules instead of like units, you know, and then there's like a bunch of uh, lessons in one unit. So we're working on your beginning of the year stuff. And it's just going to be under the like Eureka Math or Engage New York Math, which is um, what it's called. And place value and decimal fractions. So this is what we've been working on. And now you can see, uh, I want you to scroll down. They've got all these like videos, tutorials, um, things on the specific skills for that whole unit or module. And then you've, they, then you've got some actual practice down here. This is the part I really want you guys to get to. So... Um, place value names, value of a, a thing. What we've been, what we're working on right now is multiplying and dividing by powers of ten, and then the, the powers of ten. So, want to show you what that. Now I have a little tiny screen right now, so if you have a larger screen at home, it'll it's better. But if you don't, that's okay too. It's a little kooky to work through this, um, to navigate through it. So it says like, arrange the cards below to show the solution to eighty-eight divided by ten to the first power. Now. 
if if you've not done lesson um, Thursday's lesson yet, this is going to be like, what is that? 10 to the first power is just the number 10. Basically, when you're working with um, exponents, when you have tens, um, it's just like saying, how many zeros do you have? So um, 10 to the first power is just 10. If it's 10 to the second power, it's 100. If it's 10 to the third power, it's 1,000. Basically, the little exponents tells you how many zeros that you have there. Okay, so arrange the card. So it's basically saying 88 divided by 10. Well, what, do we, what have we learned about um, division with decimals? Uh, you would make it, division makes the value go less, right? So you're going to move this, click it, drag it. Now you have 8.8, .8, and then you check. Boom, got a point. Six more to go. Okay, next question. So this is how you just kind of navigate through that. So this is like complete the equations. I don't know how to divide by that. You really just have to shift the decimal over however many times you see that. So that's two places over basically. So it would be, uh, what is 10 to the second power? It's equal to 100. So it's saying this giant number divided by 100. Well, this doesn't have a decimal, right? So you put one at the end and you'd move it over to two spots. So it would be 729.1. 729.1. Uh, if you really want to do, you could put a zero after that, but you don't need to. Wait, what? Oh, it, th it thinks I'm done. Okay, to the third power, it's going to mean you're going to shift it over one more. So you got 72.91. All right, see how it just shifted over once, now twice, and then four. Or no, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I had a zero there. So uh, twice and then three times, and now we're going to go four times. So, of course, why does it keep bouncing my screen? 7.291. And then you check that. Voila, onward. So we just move on. So that's how you navigate through this. Um, it's really great practice. And if, like I said, if you already have a Khan Academy account, that's great. But the um, specific assignments are going to be in there and um, in the Cortez one. And I, again, this is not, I'm not trying to put any more on you. I'm actually trying to help you for next year so that if you get lost in the math that you're like, oh, okay, I know where to go. I remember Khan Academy is helpful. They had some practice on there. I can, you know, pick this specific math thing that I'm struggling with and get the videos um, and all of that. Again, one of the best resources that has really helped my daughter in fifth grade has been that um, Dwayne uh, Hab Hab Habeck, or I don't know how you even say his name, but anyway, it's on, it's attached, his videos are attached for Wednesday and Thursdays of Engage New York. He's the most um, most viewed YouTuber for Engage New York math for, for all the grades, but so um, he literally walks you through each assignment. Now, sometimes the word problems, you're, you're gonna have to try to figure it out. There are some other YouTubers out there that are um, doing the Engage New York assignments to help you walk you through some of those um, things, some, some of those problems. So anyways, just more stuff for you guys. It's like a survival guide for fifth grade math. Okay, that's basically it. So get your practice in.